Hi, Tom English, and I want to just uh, conclude the uh, lesson on uh, quadrilaterals by doing a few typical problems uh, that you'll run into. Uh, let's start with a simple parallelogram, and we're going to ask to find the area. Uh, the area, again, we know is uh, base times the height, and if this side is 10, then the base is 10 but we have to calculate the height. And you'll see in order to do the height, we drop a perpendicular. Uh, as long as that's perpendicular, that will give us the altitude. You'll notice that small triangle then, we have a side at the bottom of three. The hypotenuse is five. How do we find the H? Again, the Pythagorean theorem. So 5 squared is equal to 3 squared plus h squared. 5 squared is 25. Might as well take that over right away. 3 squared is 9 is equal to h squared. 16 is equal to h squared. Then h is obviously equal to 4. Hopefully you saw that right off the bat. 3, 4, 5, right triangle is the most widely used triangle on tests. Uh, by now, you should look for those things. You see a 3 and a 4, uh, hypotenuse is 5. You see a 5 and a 3, the other leg is 4. But now that we have the height is 4, the base, the area we know is, again, base times the height. So that's 10 times 4. So the answer would be 40 square units whatever <clears throat> those happen to be, inches, centimeters, meters, etc. The middle one here is a trapezoid, and again, we've got to figure what the height is. Uh, we've got a 5 and a 13. I hope the other uh, famous triangle of 5, 12, 13 comes to mind. If not, lock that in. That is another heavily used triangle to test. And uh, so just from knowing that, I right away realized the height is 12. The fact that it's a trapezoid, though, we've got two bases. So we have to do what? Find the average of those two. The average of two numbers, we just add them together. Divide by 2. 22 divided by 2. So our average base is 11 times the height, which is 12. And I hope you do this in your head by now. Uh, 10 times 12 is 120. One more 12 takes it to 132. So the area of this would be 132 square units. Okay? Third figure is a kite. And a kite, again, is really made of two triangles. The triangle is half of a rectangle. So therefore, we're finding the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. Now what I do in my mind is turn those and I think about this triangle, the larger one is a base of four, two plus two, and a height of eight. Well, base times height by one half, so half of four is two, times 8 is 16, so that triangle is 16 square units. The other one, turn it the other way, you've got a height of 4 and a base of uh, 4, so you've got 1 half times 4 times 4. Half of 4 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8. Then what do we have to do? We have to add those together. So, square units. Hopefully you find those pretty Pretty simple and uh, uh, no real uh, challenge for you. Let's look at this one though. It says that, uh, first of all, it's a rectangle and it's looking at diagonals and it says one half of this diagonal is x plus 4, one half of the other diagonal is 2x minus 3. What do we remember about the diagonals of a rectangle? They not only bisect them 
each other as they do in all parallelograms, but because it's a rectangle, the diagonals are equal. So when you do that, you really are looking at four equal sections, aren't you? So since these two are both equal, we can just set x plus 4 equal to 2x minus 3. Simple algebra from this point on, subtract x from both sides, we get 4 is equal to x plus or minus 3. Add 3 to both sides, and we end up with x is equal to 7. Hopefully that wasn't any real challenge either. The key there is you remember the diagonals and the relationship of the diagonals. Another parallelogram, and it's asking us to fill in the other angles. And what do we know about the angles of a parallelogram? Well, the opposite angles are equal to each other. So if the, this is 45, then the opposite corner is 45. What about the consecutive angles? What's their relationship? Uh, they're consec or they're uh, supplemental, aren't they? So if uh, one angle is 45, we subtract that from 180, and the ang other angle then must be 135. And obviously, same thing down in this corner. Then opposite uh, angles are equal. How do we find the area, though? Well. Again, it shows us that the base is 5, but we need to find a height somewhere. It gives us that this side is 3 times the square root of 2. How's that going to help us? Well, let's draw a perpendicular down to the extended base. And that obviously is a right triangle. What kind of a right triangle is that? Well, again, if this is 135, then this angle is 45, isn't it? And let's go back to our trig. And what we say when we have a 45 degree right triangle? Okay, that's half of the square, isn't it? Remember when we did the square, we said if the sides are S, the hypotenuse, or the diagonal, is s times the square root of 3. I'm sorry, times the square root of 2. So, if this diagonal is s times the square root of 2, this side is 3 times the square root of 2, then what do we think this side over here, or the altitude, is going to be? Well, it's going to be 3, isn't it? So once we calculate that, then we, uh, again, base times the height. We have the base of 5 times the height of 3. So our area would be 15 square units. Again, the beauty of math is that the lessons you learned yesterday help you today. And the two of them together are going to help you tomorrow. So. The math builds more than any other subject, it builds on what you learned in the past. So make sure you, you lock in those uh, lessons. The last one is another parallelogram. It shows us two diagonals, gives us a few angles there, and it says basically what are the rest of the angles. Well, what's the easy way to do this? Uh, obviously with these two angles known, the third angle in there is just the uh, 35 plus 75 is 110, 180 degrees in an angle, I'm tri sorry, in a triangle. So that leaves 70 degrees for this angle. Uh, vertical angles are equal, so this would be 70 degrees. Adjacent form a straight line, so this would be 110 degrees, as would uh, down here. Can we decide these other angles? Well, let's see. First of all, do we have any congruent triangles? What do we know again about the diagonals of a parallelogram? 
they bisect each other. So that says this segment is equal to this segment, this segment is equal to this segment, and now I see congruent triangles by what? Side, angle, side. So if this is 75 degrees and its corresponding angle on the other, and you remember these angles, triangles are flipped basically, so the 75 goes up here and the 35 down here. Okay. What about, can we fill in any more? Well, if this is 25 and 35, that angle is a total of 60. Then this angle is also a total of 60, minus the 35, so this is 25 degrees. Another way we could do that is these are two parallel lines crossed by a transversal, so therefore uh, the opposite interior angles are equal. And that leaves then finally, if this is 110 and 25, that gives us 135. 135 subtracted from 180, Okay, it gives us 45 degrees, so these final two are 45 degrees and 45 degrees. So, again, quads, uh, quadrilaterals are pretty, uh, I hope you'll find them pretty easy. Uh, mainly understand what happens with the diagonals and the angles, and if you have to drop a uh, uh, altitude in order to find the uh, height of a figure that should be pretty easy and that gives you another right triangle and you go back to your trig to solve those so hope this was an easy uh, lesson for you uh, we're going to wrap up uh, uh, geometry with probably just one more uh, uh, section thank you